Hey guys, this is uh, Mixmaster425. I'm here with the brand new iPhone 5 as you can see. And I'm not going to do a review on the phone just yet. I'm actually going to do a review on the OtterBox. This is because I think that when you guys buy the phone, which of course we're all going to, you're going to want to buy a case almost immediately. That is because, as many of us have heard, the finish on the side of the phone scratches quite easily. And of course we don't want that all getting marked up. It pretty much ruins the look of your phone without a case. So now we're just going to take a look over this case. You can see up top have your on off button. Of course there's no more audio port up top because that on the iPhone has been moved to the bottom. You can see you have a microphone and speaker on the bottom. You have your adapter for the new connector and you have access to the headphone jack which is of course like the connector covered to keep out all that dust and unwanted stuff. Access to the silent and loud button on the side as long as the speaker up and down buttons. On the back you can see we have the nice Apple logo. You can see the nice finish on the back. This is, this is open. This goes right to the bottom of the phone. There's nothing in between it. And you have camera with small microphone there and the flash of course. You can see this a genuine OtterBox case and there's also a really nice textured back to it gives it a bit of feel for the phone. You can see that this phone has a two it's a two-part case I'm not gonna really take it off because and I really want to stress this once you get this case on which is a feed in itself it is really hard to get off and that will indefinitely add to the security of your phone which would really help if you are really prone to dropping it Anyways, you can see that you have a soft silicone skin in here, surrounded by this hard plastic case. Now, I have my trusty iPhone 4 here, and we're going to compare the width. You guys can see pretty well that the width of the iPhone 4 and the iPhone 5 isn't that much different. And since the iPhone 5 is thinner and has the commuter case on it, it's pretty much just a bit bigger than my iPhone 4 with just a standard TPU case on it. And that really does make a difference considering that this TPU case has virtually no protection besides scratching whereas the commuter case has a ton of protection. I would highly recommend that you guys get one of these. Okay, you guys can see right here this is the iPhone 5 with your commuter case. Comes with your screen protector. You can see up here the outline and of course down here goes around the home button fairly easy to install. You get a nice OtterBox installation card with it and they'll explain how to do it. It's a really nice case. I really love it. It feels great in the hand and I would highly recommend this product. Uh, that's pretty much all I'm going to do for today. Just a quick video for you guys about this case. Remember that it's pretty much a lifetime case and it's really hard to get off. Other than that, it's an investment well spent. You can see this. Look forward for my video on the iPhone 5 later on. It's going to be a full software review. And until then, guys, have a nice day. This is Mixmaster425, out.